Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. So, I have a super long clip for you guys today. Again, playing some Fire Staff Rapier. Definitely my favorite build in the game. So good for solo PvP, mobility, damage, everything. And, well, I was hanging out inside this uh, outpost here. I ran into four green players, and it turned into an absolute war. So... Yeah, let's let's watch this whole fight from the very beginning. Starting off, I was able to pick up a kill on the first player that shows up there. And now all three of them end up coming up to the top. They've got a healer, what looks like a heavy armor bruiser. And in the back, I want to say that's a fire mage. So yeah, not a bad combo to fight. I think the fire mage is probably going to be my target or the healer. But right now, I'm just trading with the bruiser in front to see how, uh, how much damage I can put into him. I do shoot the cannon. I was trying to hit the guy behind him, but, you know, landing on the bruiser is not terrible either. Just keep that pressure on top of him. And the big thing here is that the healer is going to drop those heals on the bruiser and then not have them ready if I jump onto him. Either way, I end up jumping off the side to see if anybody will follow. Nobody follows, so I come back around inside and I start dropping some fireballs and stuff at a distance on these guys. Missing a lot of my shots, but mostly just watching that bruiser because I know he's coming towards me and I gotta get past him. And then my friend Nuffim shows up. Now, he is playing a super weird build. I didn't notice this at the beginning of the fight, but he's got Spear and Life Staff on. And this is one that... Yeah, when, when you guys watch this fight, you're going to be like, how the hell is that build so good? We already managed to pick up a kill on one of the players. The combination damage between the two of us and then uh, Nuffim just doing such a good job. Not only putting pressure in and putting the stuns down, but he is so durable on this build. It's absolutely crazy, especially for light armor. It's very cool to see. And I'm trying to work my way closer and closer into here. Um, actually, this build was done by a guy called Takeshi. Now, I couldn't find his channel. I really wanted to find it and link it so you guys could see the build video. Uh, I'm sure once I upload this, you'll be able to find it. And then uh, hopefully there is a link down in the description for you guys there. But either way, we are just putting the work in here. These guys are down the, down a healer now. And yeah, we are just putting the damage slowly into each one of them. And now it was just the enemy bruiser left. And I think he ends up queuing into Outpost Rush or a 3v3. Because he just teleports right out of there. And then some more time goes by and more enemy players start showing up. Nuffim always in the middle of this fight. I have no idea how he is so bulky on this thing. I mean, those life staff heals are going to absolute town. And I'm just going to start to focus the healer here. This is the opponent that we definitely want to take down. He goes for the repost. I just roll past him. And he decides to trade with me in melee range, which is a really bad move because my damage is way higher than his. And uh, yeah, he ends up taking quite a bit of punishment and then just backs up right away. I don't stick to him with the Fire Staff, unfortunately, but uh, I do get a quick Potion Chug in that cubby, and look at this. Catch him with the Stamina down, the Flourish and Finish. Nuffin jumps on top of him, trying to land that stun as well. I throw the Fireball in, and he manages to get to his Potion in time. The Axe Player behind me, a nice little evade to get away from him, and I'm going to stay on top of this healer. The big thing here is that this healer is not healing his friendlies as much as he uh, could be. Instead, he is very focused with not dying to me, and look at this some nice big boy damage and I managed to stick on top of him as he blows his stam and I get the kill and Nuffim just tanking everything he's got everybody on top of him and he has no issue staying alive here I get a huge burnout as I go in there and I managed to uh, take down one of the enemy players that he had put some work into and then he drops this guy to the ground and I again converge with him we get great combination damage he goes down really fast and then this guy trying to sneak away the cannon shot coming in. And there's the fireball. Oh, I ended up missing. Second fire staff heavy attack to finish him off. And that was round two. Now, of course, it's not over. They come back one more time with even more people. And nuff him again. He's the first one in. He tanks it out. I actually died at the very beginning of this encounter. So I had to run back right away. And as soon as I come into the fight, I noticed that he had, had one player kind of low on health. And I stick right to him. Managed to pick up the kill. And then right away, just retreat back up to a little bit more cover. And yeah, the combination of these two builds, honestly amazing because Nuffim can do such a great job just keeping himself alive. I think he's struggling sometimes to take down the players if there's a lot of them on him, but the, but the damage and mobility that I have means that he is always going to be the main center of attention and I can just pivot around him. And in this particular moment here, the enemy mage ends up following me up to the top. I take advantage of it to quickly take him down 
And uh, yeah, that's just good because he split from the group. And I'm confident at this stage of the fight that Nuffim can tank this, man. He's been here for a while. He hasn't died. So I, yeah, felt totally comfortable doing that. And he definitely didn't let me down. This guy just trying to get away the cannon shot. Ends up finishing him off. And Nuffim with that heavy attack off the life staff to get the finishing blow on the down player. And the uh, Great Axe player chases me a little bit here. I'm just going to do a little bit of dancing with the rapier. Managed to slip by him. And then right on top of this enemy healer again. The same guy. And beautiful combo. Nuffin jumps on top of him at the same time. And we drop the staggers and stuns. Absolutely beautiful. And now there is, I think, three enemy players left on the flag. Nuffin staying right on this guy's tail. The other guy going into the spin to win. I'm trying to stick to the lower health player here. I get on top of him with the burnout. I do connect the last bit of it. And there's the fire staff heavy attack. And, uh... Yeah, in that situation, maybe he should have changed directions if he was out of stem. And the last two guys, they just can't deal with Nuffin's pressure. I mean, this build is crazy. He is winning the Attrition War, even if he doesn't have necessarily as much burst as, uh, as a traditional build. He can just outlast people and just keep that pressure on. Now, the last guy, he does manage to slip out of the door there. But look at all these burning dots on him. And there is the burnout to finish him off. And it's not done yet. They come back for a fourth time to fight us. And this time, it it's even more. And this fight just gets even wilder. Right away, me and Nuffim in the middle of the fray. We managed to get some great pressure on one of the players. Finish him off with the flesh coming through. And then I jump on top of the healer. The healer is responding well now. He has been hunted by me this entire fight. So he knows that I am coming after him. And he right away gets out of my uh, reach whenever I get close to him. I try to jump on him again. Again, with the burnout into the cannon shot, but he ends up rolling the other direction. I completely whiff the shot, and then I'm just going to go back through the other side. And this is that rotation I was talking about. Nuffim can just stand in the middle, tank these guys out, deliver so much CC and pressure, and I can just jump in on a target and try to get that damage in. The, the tricky part here, though, is that their healer is throwing the heals down on top of where ours are, so it's very hard for anybody to do any kind of lethal damage here, and... Yeah, I'm just trying to make that happen by moving around. Nothing also trying to make it happen by moving around as well. And I find myself kind of in a tricky spot there, but a quick flesh in the other direction. And I managed to drop off the edge and uh, get my stamina back. I do eat that incoming spear, but there's Nuffin right away on the tail of the guy who attacked me. He gets excellent damage into him. I go for the burnout to try to get the finishing blow. Nuffin also trying to stay on top of him, and he just manages to get away and into the healing in time. And his health just shoots right back up. And I gotta get back on top of this enemy healer, man. He is just causing so many issues in this fight. And Nuffim just tanking everything. Oh my god, I love it. They've pretty much given up on trying to attack him. They're trying to chase me around now because they can't put the pressure in to kill this man. And again, I'm just gonna circle and try to pick out that healer. I'm taking a lot of range pressure though. And uh, yeah, there's an archer in the back just shooting at us. Beautiful burnout. Oh my god, so much damage. Nuffim just holding him still for me. And I quickly take that guy down with Nuffim, and then uh, the enemy players here, they all converge back to the center a little bit. We end up following them out a little bit. I really don't want to expose myself too much. That archer is just sniping me like crazy, and it looks like we've got a mage at a distance too that's shooting at me. And I take quite a bit of damage from that, end up just retreating a little bit to heal up. Try to throw my combo down on this guy, kind of wasted my abilities on his ice pillar. I just wanted to keep the pressure on in case he popped out early and maybe catch him with something, but either way, he ends up uh, deflecting that very well, and there's Nuffim just right into the middle of it. He doesn't care. He's going to tank all this stuff out. So I try to follow him. I get blasted right away. I hide in this little hole, and there is the burnout to come out here. I shoot the cannon shot. I do get a good land on one of them, and then beautiful damage on this guy. So close to taking him down, and by the time I turn around, he's already here back up to full and well i will let you guys enjoy the rest of this fight as i say goodbye i just want to say a massive shout out to nothing this was a crazy good fight man this was a lot of fun so thank you so much for bringing this weird ass build out here and showing us how good it is holy man and uh, a big shout out again to takeshi i would love to link both nothing and takeshi down below so if you guys have youtube channels and you've seen this or anybody has links to their channels by all means, send it my way, and I will give these guys the credit they are due. Of course, you can catch me live on Twitch. Check out my website, pvpnewworld.com, for written guides to my builds. And send in those clips to the top five if you have an awesome fight you want to see featured. 
a quick thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN. They can keep you safe online and you can get a deal with your first purchase thanks to the link down below. And last but not least, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Whether you support it now, whether you support in the past, thank you so much, everybody. And as always, have a great night, everyone. And I hope to see you next time. <laughs>